what's going on, fellas? How are we doing, man? It's Nelly here. Uh, today I'm answering a question for you guys that you wrote in. Uh, the question is, how do I stop hitting so many ground balls? Um, for me, ground balls, if you're hitting a bunch of ground balls, there's something, basically three things could be happening. One is you could be early, way too early. So if you're early, you're going to hit more ground balls. If you're late, you're typically going to hit more fly balls. So if you're someone that always feels like they're out front, always making contact out here, always rolling over, always hitting ground balls. Um, think about letting the ball travel. Think about driving the ball the other way. So if I'm a right-handed hitter, I'm going to think about driving this ball to right center field. That's going to be my approach. If I'm a left-handed hitter, I'm going to think about driving the ball to left center field. That's going to be my approach. So that's the first thing. It could be you know, where you are. Some people are chronically early, right? They're always just wanting to go get the ball. They never want to let the ball travel. Um, and so if that's you, just think about backing the ball up a little bit and using the other side of the field, or at least thinking that way. You can still pull the ball, but if you're early and you think drive the ball the other way, you should be a little bit more on time. That's the first thing. So the second thing is where we make contact on the ball. So if I hit that ball dead center here, I'm probably going to hit a line drive. If I hit the ball above center, well, then I'm going to hit the ball on the ground. If I hit the ball below center, then I'm going to hit the ball up. The more below I hit it, the more up the ball will go. The more above the line I hit it, the more down the ball will go. So if you're constantly hitting round balls, you're probably constantly hitting on the top part of the ball, right? You're hitting above center way more often than anything else. Now, my experience, what typically comes with this is bat path. So... If I've got a swing, if I'm hitting a lot of ground balls, I'm probably swinging too much down on the ball, okay? If I'm attacking the ball down this way, well then I'm gonna smother a lot of balls right down into the ground right here. <clears throat> I have to. As I'm coming down to the ball, right, and I hit this thing, I mean, you can see if I square this thing up, I'm probably gonna hit the ball down. Now, I could hit the ball straight up in the air also if I miss below center and I'm really coming down hard at the ball and I hit the bottom part, I'm going to slice that thing and it's going to go up. But probably more often than not, if I'm someone that's really driving the ball on the ground and I'm swinging down, I'm going to pound the ball straight into the ground. So if, again, if you're somebody that's hitting a ton, a ton of ground balls, everybody's going to hit ground balls, right? But if you're someone that feels like you just cannot get the ball in the air, you can't drive the ball with any authority, well then you're either way too early or you're probably swinging down on the ball and hitting the top part of the ball more often than you should. So think about, we talked about the adjustment to let the ball travel a little bit more. If I want to get this ball in the air a little bit more, I want to stop hitting ground balls, I want to drive the ball, give myself an ability to hit more base hits and get more doubles and home runs, extra base hits, well then I've got to flatten out my path a little bit and I want to be getting somewhere where I'm attacking this thing slightly up. So the ball's coming slightly downhill, right? Pitcher's thrown from an elevated mound overhand to a catcher that's squatted. So the ball's coming slightly down. I want to try to match that plane and be slightly up. That's where when I catch the ball right on, I'm going to hit a, a ball that really takes off into the gap. Really good line drive. If I miss above or below, well then if I miss above, it's going to go down, obviously. If I miss below, it's going to go up. But if I'm flat through there or I'm slightly up, well then my misses, if I miss below, I'm not going to hit the ball straight up. I'll probably hit the ball more on that trajectory. If I miss slightly above, well then I might hit the ball on the ground, but I'm going to hit a hard ground ball. If I'm someone that's really down again, I'm going to smother a lot of balls right into the ground. I'm going to wear out that area right in front of the plate or I'm going to smash a ball way up in the air for an infield pop-up, okay? So if you're somebody who's struggling with hitting the ball on the ground way too often, just think about those three things. Try to let the ball get a little bit deeper in the hitting zone. Think about approach-wise driving the ball the other way. Try to get your path to work on the same plane as the pitch a little bit more. It's going to help you hit the middle of the ball more, not so much on top of the ball, smother the ball down into the ground. You'll start hitting some more line drives. So, I wonder if you have any more questions in the comment section below. I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Share with all your friends. Check out our Instagram page, Antonelli Baseball. Or Antonelli Baseball. Uh, check out our Twitter feed, Man Antonelli 9. We're posting videos for you guys all the time. Uh, also, check out the description box below where I've put links to a bunch of books I've been reading and also training tools that we use with all of our guys. 
Um, also check out our website, AntonelliBaseball.com, where you can find out more info on how to work with our teams and also how to work with us. And that's all I got. Good luck to you guys. Wish you the best of luck the rest of the way, and we'll talk to you later.